Hey everyone, Sam Signorelli. Welcome back to IKNAS Armory today. How to wash your lame or your saber glove or your mask. Um, washing the lame parts is really important because there is a certain amount of resistance that's allowed in the system. On a lame, it's five ohms, any point to any point. That's for the lame, for the uh, bib of the mask and foil, and for the mask and saber entirety. Also, the cuff of the glove or the manchette for saber. Um, these items do go dead or get high resistance through a number of, of methods. Number one is simple age. They stop working. You might have so much damage to the LeMay that the fibers are broken and there's no connectivity. You have a dead spot. That can be patched. That'll be a different video. You also might have physical damage like a ripping or tear. That can be patched again. Or you might have the more common one, which is a green patina on a copper lemonade especially that typically is either here in the neck because all the sweat from the neck gets down on top of it or on the sleeve of a saber lemonade typically under the glove of the weapon arm sometimes left the offhand if you're wiping your brow and what that does is it raises the resistance um, and it needs to be taken care of you also may have a bit of corrosion from some other reason you can't see like the corrosion at the end of a spring for foil and you can do that by let's say the corrosion's here and you got a dead spot fold it over so it's touching itself and then kind of scrape it against each other, and that way it may break any corrosion off. If that doesn't work, you have to wash the lame. If that doesn't work entirely, the whole front's dead, just get a new one. But we're going to show you how to wash the lame. It requires a sink, some warm water, some woolite or other like uh, fabric soft material, a fabric detergent, and something with ammonia-like Windex. Right back. Okay, as you heard, I'm filling my sink in my kitchen. I have some uh, woolite-like uh, detergent from soft fabrics. I have some uh, spick and span. It doesn't have ammonia, but we use it for right now. That's all I got. Usually use Windex. And the reason you use the detergent the ammonia is the detergent gets the soap, the uh, gunge off, the ammonia helps get the soap off. There are other steps to go along with that, but we're going to start. We're going to start with and take the cap from the Woolite bottle. And we're going to put a cap full, one cap full of the ammonia stuff in it. Put that in the water. And then a cup of the soap. I'm sorry, a cap full of the soap. Then one cap full. And let that fill up a little bit. The water is warm, not hot. Let that fill up a bit, and I'll show you how to do the rest of the washing. Okay, so here's the lame. Now you can, in fact, wash these. You cannot toss this kind of lame in the washing machine. The agitator will kill it. It's happened before. There are some lames that are designed to be put in a washing machine. This is not one of them. So the traditional metal type fibers. Just simply dunk it in. Make sure it's all covered with water. And let it soak for about 15 or 20 minutes. And we'll come back. And we're back. It's been about 20 odd minutes. I put this little rack here to help uh, hold the thing underwater. Take that out. Now, the next thing you need to do is get the water going through the fibers of the, of the lame. You don't do it by wringing it out like a wash rag. That'll break the fibers. You do it like you're a cat needing a blanket. You're making biscuits. Just do that right there. Get the water going through the fibers to kind of get loose whatever's come off from being soaked for 20 minutes or a half hour. If you can see the water is kind of nasty. If it was any worse, I'd do it again if I was trying to save this lame. Just make sure you get them all. And pull out, you can see how the water is fairly brown. And uh, that's how you get that going. The next step is to um, rinse the lame, rinse the lame off and then hang up to dry, and that'll be the next step. So we'll get back in a second. Stand by. Okay, so we're back now. The lemay is hanging up in my shower stall. We're gonna rinse it off. Why do you rinse it? Because you gotta get the soap residue off. Just like cleaning the foil blade, get all the acetone residue out if you're soaking the acetone, or cleaning the uh, end of a spring off to get corrosion off. You don't get the soap residue off, it won't conduct. It'll act like the corrosion you're trying to get off in the first place. So, hang it in your shower stall, you drop it on the floor, hang it back up. Turn the water on. Drop it again. Okay, I'm gonna help this one up. <laughs> All right, here we go. Take three on that. There we go. Again. See, see folks, gravity works. Okay. I need to hold it up this time. 
in this, rinse the bejesus out of it. And get the entirety of the line. It may look like it's clear. It may not be. You cannot rinse it enough. Start from the top, work down. Get the front. for a second and then we'll show how to do the final step which is uh, rolling in a towel to hang it to dry. Stand by. Okay so final step I have a, a bath sheet on the floor here lay the lemay into it I'm gonna roll it in. What it does is gets a little more of the water out. So basically press, roll, press, roll, press, roll, press. That's done. Hang it to dry, and it takes about you know a day or so to dry out, and you'll be fine with the LMA. It'll be nice and clean, and hopefully it'll work. And next we get to uh, how to do uh, masks. Stand by. Okay, so let's talk about masks for a second. Uh, you can wash a mask. Uh, it requires a little different technique. If you have uh, the LeMay mask from foil or saber, you can bar wash the LeMay part the exact same way as your foil and saber LeMay. Soak it in the water, do the biscuit making, rinse it off, whatever. But then you want to clean the inside of the mask because, let's face it, after a while it gets really bad. I've had masks that smelled like a reopened grave and it's really hard to check those. If the armor can't test it because it stinks so bad, it ain't passing. What you do is this. You take your dishwasher, okay? You lay the mask open and down, so open and face down from the top rack. Put a teeny bit of detergent in, just a few drops, and run it. Turn the dry cycle off. If you cannot do that, know when the dry cycle starts. And when the, when the dry cycle starts, pull it out. Wipe the mask down. Bring the uh, the bib out gently in the case of the foil and saber lame, or bib rather. And then uh, let it sit to dry. It takes a couple of days for the foam to dry. So if you're going to fence real soon, I wouldn't do it. If you're going to take a couple of days break, go ahead and do it. Uh, the saber glove and the manchette the same way. You soak it in the, in the sink in the mixture and you make the biscuits, you rinse it off, whatever. Uh, also good thing to wash the gloves because after a while they get really bad. Um, and uh, you know, I, I know it's an advantage if your opponent's eyes start watering because it stinks so bad, but let's not make the whole place stink, shall we? Um, the, uh, there's also a link to uh, these instructions on the front page of hmfencing.com, just below the uh, top section. It's a PDF, you can print it out. It's the same instructions I gave you today. Uh, I've passed it out to many people, and feel free to grab it. And as always, happy armoring.